Hello everyone, this is Marita Esteva, one who catches lightning with the path of Ish, and today celebrating 8 Ish. I am surrounded by three of my cats right now, so it's works perfect. The day of the jaguar. So what does that mean? We are in a week of the trekking of deer. So that trekking of deer is about being able to you know, as the deer knows how to go through the woods, as does the jaguar know to go through the jungle. So all of a sudden you have those two energies combined together, one in the forefront, one in the background. And it's all about today is a day of journey. Can you go through the brush of everything you've created in your life, whether it be distractions, there's a lot of distractions, whether it's past lifetimes, whether it's things that you need to heal, all the things that are in the way of your path of radical self-love. Today, 8-ish is here to help you walk through that jungle, go through that jungle of the self. It is a powerful day to connect with Jaguar 8. The number 8, as you know, is about infinity. So anything created today will resonate even further and further. This is why the Mayan calendar is so amazing because the cosmology teaches us that the energies of today are here today and they don't stop at noon, right? Um, They don't stop at midnight. You know, they continue a little bit to tomorrow and we started feeling them a little bit yesterday as we came into this time of the Jaguar. Now, because my website and everything that I do is the path of Ish, I love Jaguar and Jaguar is definitely one of my guides in in so many ways. I could tell you so many stories, but we don't have time for that. But I wanted to pop on here to invite you um, and let's just do a little meditation with Jaguar. Why not? Let's close our eyes. <sighs> Slowly come into our breath. Just breathe easily and get to that point where your breath just comes and becomes a natural sigh. Mm. Feel that sigh in your bones. Can you sigh and breathe all the way into your bones? The bones, the marrow, that's where the ancestors plant our seeds, right? They remind us of who we are, the stories of our families and stories of people before. So when we get lost, we can always connect to the bones in our body that hold the truth, the way home, the way to radical self-love. So let's connect with that breath to our bones. Yes, past the skin, past the muscle, past the sinew all the way to our bones. Can we be that hollow bone? As we ask Mother Earth for permission for her to give us a root for this small little meditation today. That which we have earned based on our stature, our knowledge, and that which we need for today. As you feel that root come up from Mother Earth, feel that unconditional love come up through your feet and start popping up through your legs anything that has been keeping in your way, all that underbrush. And as one who spent most of the day cutting grass, tall, tall grass, and I'm talking like grass, here they call it, uh, guinea grass. I apologize if anyone's offended. It's a Hawaiian name for this grass that's six feet tall. Because you have to cut and machete yourself through your jungle, find your path, just feel how that unconditional love comes up through your systems your nervous system your limbic system all the vessels in your body just feel that energy go up and through up to your head connecting you to of course divine source but see and just rest in those moments of that that popping as mother earth brings in unconditional love and as with that we call upon jaguar and
the call of the trees and the soil and the wind and the grass to jaguar as jaguar moves and breathes and walks in this song and this vibration completely one with everything as we bring in the tone of eight of infinity bring that tone down from divinity infinity divinity i love this bring it down through your head Connecting at your heart as Jaguar, Mother Earth, and the tone of eight meet you at your heart center right now. Breathe into that heart center. Make space for yourself. Can you make space for yourself today? Keep breathing in and let Jaguar be the one to show you those things that need to be removed or those paths that need to be walked that maybe you forgot. Those memories of before, those seeds of potential, that truth of who you are. Today I've been seeing a lot of posts about radical self-love and honey, honey, I've been talking about it for a long time. Radical self-love. And that is what we are here to experience. Can we be on that path of radical self-love? I've also been talking to a lot of my friends in South Carolina, so... Apologies if I offended anyone. I didn't want to. Just having fun here. So can we be on that path of radical self-love through the jungle that we've created, through the jungle that people have created, through these things that have become overgrown in our life? Can we seek that truth as we breathe in three times, in and out through the nose? Bring your mind, intelligence into this time and this place. Let Jaguar help us with our mind. In and out through the nose, bringing our body intelligence into this time and this place and let Jaguar help us with this journey. In and out through the nose, bringing our essence into this time, this place and may Jaguar walk with our essence hand in hand in beauty, showing us the way of radical self-love to infinity and beyond back to ourselves, always leaning back. We thank you, thank you, thank you, Jaguar. We thank all who have come here as we allow Mother Earth to release us, as we thank Jaguar, as I notice someone bulldozing the back of my house right now. I should probably go soon, but as we bring that all in, again, distraction, focus again in your heart center, letting everything go, Even people bulldozing on a road behind you, just let it go. As things pop up, just focus back with the energy of eight, the energy of ish. One more breath. Thank you, Jaguar. Thank you, eight. Thank you, ish. Thank you to all the energies that helped us today. I hope you have a beautiful day. I have a a new moon ceremony coming up on the 20th. There's lots of things going on on the 20th. Would love to have you. It's a small donation. 1333 goes to restoring bulldozed parts of my, uh, this land that we are trying to grow food for the community. So please join us. It's at a reasonable time, nothing late. I think it's around 2 p.m. Pacific time or something like that. Um, I'll double check, but I'll drop a, a link. And if you're interested, please hashtag new moon. We will be welcoming in the summer solstice, so the energy of fire. The energy of fire does not work alone. Fire must work in community. Therefore, are you working in community as you fan the flames of your desire, of your process? Are you walking on your path? How can we go towards ourselves and not experience burnout because it's kind of easy to experience burnout these days so with lots of love with great humility this is marita one who catches lightning with the path of ish have a great day mahalo